hello again this is System Restore UK for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel how is everybody doing we are in this video we're going to be looking at the D-Class Moonbeam the lowrider that you uh, you can get from Benny's so into Benny's let's go into stock and scroll down and let's go and have a look at this thing there she is $32,500. Looks like a, a normal piece of shit. May look like a sturdy, affordable minivan with a high seating capacity and low build quality. Sure, its manufacturers were happy with a complete lack of features and utter disregard for good looks. But mindless acceptance of obvious facts did not make this country what it is today. Forget about the moonbeam, what the moonbeam is, and start thinking about what the stunt is. And less than a thousands of dollars can be blah, blah, eligible for customization of Berlin's original motorways. That's where we're going to go in a minute. Let's send it over. We've just bought the vehicle. And let's go and have a look at it. There it is. One Billy Basic pile of shit transit van, basically. <laughs> well, people carry of some sort. Nothing special there. It looks a bit, uh, it looks a bit cack. But let's take it over to Benny and let's let him work his wonders on this pile of shit. A miracle, mate. I want you to make this not look shit, please. Okay, so. On D-Class Moonbeam. We're going to go straight forward. Straight into the uh, the main lowrider upgrade for this uh, for this van. $370,000. Is it going to be worth it? Let's have a look. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not... I don't know. Um, it still looks shit, but let's let's hold out. Three hundred, three hundred odd grand. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> okay, let's armor this thing for fifty thousand dollars. Brakes. So you've got stock, street, sport, and race brakes, which is what we're going to go for. Race brakes, thirty-five thousand. And next one we've got is the chassis. So what chassis upgrades have we got? Bodywork. And a side panel, so I'm presuming it's going to block off the window. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I, th I think the panel's going to look better. I'm, I'm imagining this thing's got a livery. Well, I know it's got a livery, but um, I'm imagining the livery's going to look a lot better when, the, when there's a panel for it to go on, or an extra panel for it to go on. So, yeah, we'll do that. Not much under the chassis one. Let's have a look under the engine. So, engine block. Okay, so you've got V8 painted covers at 45 grand, V8 painted ribbed covers at 40, just under 48, V8 chrome covers at just over 50, V8 chrome rib covers at 53,580 for something no one's going to ever see. Okay, air filters, so we've got no air filter, chrome air filter, $32,000, fucking hell, that's expensive, twin air filter, 34 and a half. Swept back ram pipes, thirty-six thousand seven hundred twenty dollars for something no one's ever going to see. That is horrifically expensive. Oh well, let's get it done. Engine tunes, EMS, EMS upgrade level four, thirty-three and a half grand. We're going to need that doing it because this thing's notoriously slow anyway. So let's just speed it up as, as much as we can. Okay, exhaust. So you've got stock exhaust, which you can't see. And chrome tip exhaust, $750 for a few pipes that you can. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Explosives, we don't bother with them. Okay, grill. Stock grill. Chrome grill, $750. And a billet grill at $1,340. That looks proper old school, that billet grill. Look at that. I'm loving that. We're definitely going to have a billet grill. $1,340, thank you very much. Okay, horn, we don't bother with them. Hydraulics, okay, here's where it gets expensive. So quad pumps, four in a row, comes stock. Chrome twin pumps, 125 grand. Quad pumps, two by two, is 200 grand. And quad pumps in a V pattern, $250,000. That is mega, isn't it? 
these hydraulics, they know how they're getting them, earning their money. Rockstar, don't they? All these shark cards. Fucking just to pay for these hydraulics. Okay, interior, trim, trim design. So let's have a look. Interior color, custom interior. Interior uh, color, extreme dashboard, 40 grand. Primary color, custom interior, 43 and three quarters. Primary color, extreme dashboard, 46,170. That's quite a cool little option. I think we'll have that. That could make it look quite cool. And the trim color. Let's have a little cycle through. See how these are going to look. Just have something bright for the minute. Yeah, you can see. Well, there's loads of options. As you can see, there's loads and loads and loads of options. The usual options for the, uh, the interior color. Let's go just with the ultra blue. Just keep it nice and bright to see how it'll look. My ornaments, these things never seem to change, so you've got all the bobble heads going through. The list, we'll go with our one of our usual two. So there's the magnetics one, five grand, we'll keep him. Bit of Jay-Z, Jay-Z on the dash. Okay, some dials. Stock street racer. 14 grand. We'll just keep them. I, I don't see the point in the dials because you never get close enough to see it. Not many people playing first person, so just leave it like that. Doors. Okay, so pole man's door speakers. 11 and a half grand. Basic door speakers. 12 and a quarter. Advanced door speakers is just under 13 grand. Audio file door speakers. 13, 680. Oh yes, extreme door speakers, 14,400. Thank you very much. Fuck me, this thing's gonna be loud. Whoa, that's a lot of speakers, man. Okay, seats. Custom leather seats. Six and a quarter grand. As opposed to the, uh, the standard school run seats. That's what you asked for. Yeah, of course we're gonna go with the leathers. Okay. Next on the list, we have steering wheels. So have a look through. You have to apologise. Have to apologise. Rockstar servers a little bit slower to, than usual today, so there is a very slight delay uh, when we are uh, selecting items. So just uh, bear with us. Okay. So the 17 steering wheels that are normally there are there still. Rest of mod. Let's just go a little bit different. Column shifter levers. Again, these are all the same as the rest of the uh, the low riders. Eight ball, eye ball, lucky die, saucy and eye grenade, smoking, top of the morning, tuba coup, king lear, old school mic, piston, gem set, six shooter, this dollar, piss washer pump, which is the one that we always go with. Your shit's done. It is six grand. It's done. Okay, plaques. Now. Yeah. If you haven't seen any of the other low roller videos that you're doing with the plaques, obviously you've got two different types of well, you've got two selections basically. You've got the first block of selections, uh, which you can see in the back window, uh, is putting on plaques for people that are behind to see, and then the second lot, which is the same stuff but in neon. So we will put our Benny's neon on 11,970. There it is, and now over to the light color. Now, just remember. If you say, again, if you haven't seen these videos, the light colour that you deter is determined on your dashboard is the same as what your plaque is going to be. So you have blue on your dashboard, like ultra blue, like we're going to put on. Your plaque in the back window is also going to be ultra blue. Okay, that is all of the interior. Let's move on to the lights. So headlights. Zenons, $7,500, got to be done, put them on, okay, and neon kits, can't have a low rider without neons, so we'll go for a full front, back and sides, 30 grand. Liveries, this is what we want to see. Classic gold pinstripe, 18,240. So it's nice, it's simple. It's nice. Classic red pinstripe, 19,380. 
Again, that's not too bad either. Blue retro stripes, 20 and a half grams. Mm, not bad. I'm, I don't normally like that style of design, but okay, red retro stripes, pretty much the same sort of thing. A little bit more money, 21, just over 21 and a half. Bring back the 90s. That looks like a pair of fucking old 10 pound trainers. That looks horrible. 22,800. Blue fades, 23,370. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. It's not too bad. Simple on the top as well with the stripes. Pure geometry. Yeah, I think they're getting a bit. It's a bit blocky now. I don't know. That's not my kind of feel, but each to their own. Scallop stripes, 24,500. It's a better version, but again, I think it's still too blocky. And pure graphics. See, that's more me. Twenty-five thousand and eighty dollars. I think we can work with that. It's sort of like an all-over wrap. So the whole thing's been wrapped up, which is good. But we'll come back to that. Okay, plates, plate holder. Again, these are all the same. So we'll go with. We go with the David Jones. Six thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Should go a little bit further. Which way do we go? Flames, Magnetics, Classics. Yeah, Flaming Skull. $7,425. Okay, and a vanity plate. Gold on black, $12,420. Okay. To, to have Benny splattered on the front of your van. And the license plate on the back. We will go with yellow and black. Yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. Still looks like a van, but that's never going to change, I suppose. But okay, right. So stock roof, roof rack, and a roof extension. That looks fucking terrible. A roof extension, eleven hundred and fifty dollars. If I ever see anybody driving around in free mode with a super streamlined roof extension, that thing is getting blown up. That looks hideous. I think we'll just leave it stock. It doesn't need anything. Or at worst, we could put a roof rack on it, but a roof extension, really? What a poor choice of upgrade, Rockstar. That looks shit. Yeah, I think we'll leave that stock. Okay, tailgate. Stock tailgate, spare wheel and a ladder, $7,050. I haven't seen many low riders with ladders on the back. So I think we might want to keep that stock as well. Not impressed with those two. Okay, transmissions, straight to the race transmission, $40,000. Okay, at least it's going to move now. And trunk, aha, okay. Square speaker shelf, 29760 A bit more sound, yeah, that sounds good. Round speaker shelf, 31, just over one, 31 and a half grand. There we go, now we're getting serious. Big sub speaker shelf, 33,480. Premium wall of sound, 35,340. Look at that, that looks cool. Now that is what we're talking about. Extreme wall of sound, 37,200. And it was cheaper for you to do that than it was to do your fucking rocker covers on your engine. Look at that, that's insane. That's awesome. Okay, turbocharger. Turbo charging, 50 grand. Okay, that's done. Wheels will come back to, I think. And windows. So, limo tents. Do we do all the way with the limo tents? Not entirely sure. Because uh, you might not be able to see what's in the back. So, we'll put the tents on for a minute. And there you go, you've seen all the options. What we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a play and see what we can come up with. There you go. We've got that livery on. Gone for a nice dark blue. Uh, with obviously the with a pearl in it as well. Um, changed the wheels. Gone for some sport style wheels. Um, obviously done the atomic wheel. Uh, atomic tyre upgrade, as you can see we just put the bulletproof uh, tyres on it as well. Full window tints, we've gone for the old school grille, uh, big super stereo in the back, yes, it actually doesn't look too bad, 
it doesn't look too bad at all. It's a lot better than what I thought it would look. White, jet white interior. Just just gone literally as, as, as clear, clean an interior as we could get on there. Just so uh, it stands out a little bit more. We don't want the whole thing too dark. Right. Let's see what this thing's like. Hydraulics. Let's get this thing bouncing. There you go. It bounces. Albeit it doesn't bounce particularly high, but it is a huge, great big van uh, with a monster stereo in the back of it. Let's open some doors up. Yeah. You want some noise, people? Fuck me. Look at them speakers. That's got speakers everywhere. In between the back seats, in the doors. That's going to be loud as fuck. Imagine driving something like that with a stereo on full blast. That's insane. You even got them by the footwells as well. That's really cool. Well, not bad. Not bad, Rockstar. Okay, let's take it for a quick spin. Take it back to the garage. And we can have a look at it under some... Uh, some in the inside under some light. Being a van, it is heavy. It's not going to uh, drive particularly well, or uh, anticipating it's not going to drive particularly well. But it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It does it does go a lot quicker than what you uh, what it what it first drove like as a stock van. It's nice. It's got the turbo on it. You can hear that sort of uh, gushing away when you're. Uh, are you putting your foot down? Yeah, it's all right. Let's have a look. The, 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 the proof in the pudding is going to be when we get it under some light and just see how it actually looks in some really nice, uh, a really nice light environment. But in we go, into the garage, and let's have a look. See, there it is. One D-Class Moonbeam Lowrider from the uh, Custom Classics DLCs. Not bad at all. Yeah, happy with that. That livery does look pretty cool as well. It's nice and subtle, which is very rare for us. There you have it. D-Class Moonbeam. This has been System Restore UK for the Legion Gaming UK YouTube channel. Feel free to hit the subscription button. Uh, if you want to see some more videos, we're going to be doing all the vehicle DLCs from GTA 5 Online. System Restore UK, signing out. Take it easy.